moviegoers. So Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, when will we be getting this third film out of the installment to finish off the trilogy that James Gunn has started? Now, ever since the firing of James Gunn, I personally feel like it's just been a big mess. I mean, with you know the cast supporting James Gunn, and you have Dave Bautista, who's legit like his biggest supporter, who is willing to walk out of the role for James Gunn if they do not use his script. Now, with that being said, it is delayed yet again. It won't be starting production until February of 2021. Goddamn, that's a long time from now. 2021, that means that initially we probably won't get a release date if everything goes okay. If everything goes fine, we probably won't get a release date until 2022, late 2022. And that's just crazy. It sucks to me, you know? That's a long time. I mean, it's a bummer. It's a huge bummer, I will have to say. Um, and it's raising some questions, you know? Um, but the working title for the, for the movie is Hot Christmas. Gardens of the Galaxy, Hot Christmas. What the fuck does that even mean? Why not just call it Volume 3? Hot Christmas? That sounds stupid to me. <laughs> like, I, I want to know the meaning behind that, if that's going to be, you know, your actual title. But it's it's a working title, and that definitely needs some work to it. <laughs> Hot Christmas just sounds so off to me. But my theory is that the reason why the huge delay is they're tweaking the script. They're partially going to use of James, some of James Gunn's script, right? The parts are going to use it, but they're going to tweak it and, you know, make some things different. Um, and now if that's the case, I don't know if Drax or Dave Bautista is okay with that. Because he was like, I will not do this film if you don't use this fucking script. So use the script, you know, because James Gunn wrote the script. He wrote all three of them. Well, partially wrote the first one. He had a co-writer as well. That's why. I, that's why I personally think the first one is better than the second one. But anyways, um... Yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, what if they're completely revamping the script and writing Drax off? So, okay, we don't have to worry about Dave Bautista anymore. He's done. His character's written off. We're good. You know, so that means, I don't know. It's just going to be weird. You know, with no James Gunn and potentially no Drax, it's not going to feel like a Guardians movie. It's really not because you built kind of like this relationship with that core group of the Guardians of the Galaxy, you know, and... You know, you don't when you won't when you don't have the same writer and the same kind of humor and the same kind of you know story based that James Gunn really brought to those first two scripts because he was heavily influenced on both of those scripts. Um, he's a phenomenal writer, so it's going to be pretty intriguing to me to see how this third films this third film ends up. You know, I'm kind of nervous about it. And in all honesty, you know, if you're going to revamp the whole entire script and you know write Dave Bautista's character off Drax. Just don't give me a third film. I'm, I'm cool with Guardians 1 and 2. And then you, I guess you can reboot and do a new new team of the Guardians of the Galaxy with Silver Surfer or whatever you want to call it. Whatever, right? But it's going to be interesting, man. I don't know. I just don't feel like this third film will have the same feel to it. Especially with the music. Like, James Gunn picked the music for 1 and 2. He was, you know, the, both of those soundtracks were phenomenal. And, you know, if you don't have James Gunn picking the, the music for the third film, it's kind of gonna be tricky right because i love both of those soundtracks they're so good really good songs you know songs i've never even heard of before now that i love listening to all the time come and get your love i mean it's just a great song right but i don't know it's it's a tricky situation i guess and i don't know what marvel studios plans on to do with the whole drax thing it's gonna be i don't know i guess you know with some due time they'll announce some things and drax will Dave Bautista will announce some things and we'll figure this stuff out but um you know, James Gunn is in talks to hop on over, hop on over to the DC world, and you know, and write, and possibly direct a Suicide Squad reboot or sequel. And Dave Bautista was like, "Hey, can I join?" <laughs> he's so quick to hop ship and be just be done with Disney. It's not even the fact that he's mad at Marvel; he's done with Disney and Bob Iger and the people who initially fired James Gunn. But it's going to be interesting to me, guys. This is just a quick little update on Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. With more news coming out, I will give you guys updates about the film. But post your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Hot Christmas being delayed all the way until 2021. Post your comments down below, you guys. And thank you for taking time in your day to our Zero Productions. Peace.